Hello. So I'm making a video about something I like to call the emotional roller coaster. I've actually already done this, but the reason I wanted to make another one was just because it's so good. It's so good, and it really helps me live a, a happy life. And that's the important thing. Not money, not success. And you know, all these things actually are just words. Money. It's a word that's attached to a piece of paper that's attached to an idea. And success is an idea. A word that's attached to an idea. And we all have a different idea of what success would look like. And happiness itself is just a, it's just a word. But what this is about is finding freedom. Finding relief. Finding a higher vibration. Finding a release of resistance. And, and this is why, you know, the, there's lots of different uh, paths I've been trying. And I try to be in the power of now and then I try to use the law of attraction to attract things. And then um, I try to see that everything was just one non-duality. And, and it's all, you know, it's all fine. But for me, it, it just occurs that we can't do anything about what's happening right now. And, in fact, what's happening right now is amazing. If we could take away the, the, the mind that thinks we know all this, it knows that that is a camera and these are hands and I am looking out of my eyes and this is how it feels to be a little bit tired and quite warm and it thinks it knows all this, it thinks it, yeah, it's got it all, it doesn't need to even think about it. But actually, every moment is an amazing experience if we can experience it with the filters off. Now, what this means in terms of emotions is that when we think, oh, I've overreacted to something, or, oh, I'm too, I'm too tired, I'm too lethargic, I should try and be more, more, more alert, more energetic, or I just can't concentrate, I feel really fidgety, but I want to, I want to concentrate, or, oh, I'm just, I'm feeling really sad for no reason, I, I need to cheer up, or, I'm angry, I'm so irritated with that person. But now, irritation is bad, I shouldn't, I shouldn't experience it. And basically what we do is we add a layer of judgement onto whatever emotional, energetic sensation is happening at the time. But all of it is just a sensation, a, 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 an emotion, an energy that's arising. So there's no need to label it, and in fact, life would be very boring if we just had the same experience the whole time. Being human involves having this roller coaster ride of emotions. So what do we do? Do we judge ourselves when we're feeling the wrong emotion? Well, we could, but we'll suffer. So what do we do instead? I wonder if you can hear the the tap running in the other room. I'm, I'm living in this tiny little shack at the moment and for two of us it's very hard to find a quiet spot to, uh, to make a video but I feel like making one anyway so you might have sound effects in the background. So where was I? It's all part of the experience of being human. So if we can remember that, that this is just like an illusion. That actually all of this, and I use this metaphor a lot, is like a virtual reality game. And if we could just wake up inside it and go, oh, oh my goodness, look at the graphics. Look at the detail. Who designed this? This is amazing. If we can do that visually, then we can also start to do it in a, in a more emotional sense. Just whatever's arising. And this is the key find a way to enjoy it.
Of course, enjoying joy seems easy. Enjoying pleasure. Enjoying hope. Enjoying peace. Enjoying passion. They seem easy. But how do you enjoy unhappiness? How do you enjoy melancholy? How do you enjoy lethargy? How do you enjoy anger? Well, take away the labels. Take away the labels and just feel it. Just feel the sensation. And then, whatever that sensation is kind of guiding you towards, allow that to open up. What do I mean by this? So say there's this anger rising and you try and suppress it, and you try and suppress it, I'm not going to get angry, I'm not going to get angry. And you're just going to end up... But instead, if the anger rises, you just get really angry! coursing through me. Ooh, I'm going to use that anger. I'm going to use that anger and I'm going to do something. Because that anger is a huge input, input of energy coming from somewhere. Why well, try and suppress it? And the same thing if we feel sort of thoughtful and pensive and tired and, and, and our minds start saying, no, we should buck up our ideas. We should try and get more done. Then we end up just feeling guilty for no reason. But if we feel quite tired and just allow ourselves to sit down or lie back and just do something nice and just enjoy the feeling of tiredness and enjoy the feeling of relaxation. Because there's many times that we wish we could relax or we wish we could sit down and relax and, and take time out, but we don't have the chance to. So when we get the chance, just enjoy it. And if you are feeling irritated, it's the same thing. There's, I feel like the, when this irritation comes in, it's like this real sense of pure, pure, aliveness if I allow it rather than oh, it was a oh, let it in let it in presence that's it that's the key and I remember Eckhart Tolle talks about how the pain body transmutes into presence and it does if you just let it in you feel more present okay and and I'm aware while I'm speaking about this that you you might be thinking Okay, but what if I get that feeling of tiredness when I'm at work? Or feeling of, of, of um, energy when I, I have to actually sit down and, and do something because I've got to. Well, you, you can trust, and I've started to trust, that the right energy will always be there at the right moment. So let's take this example. Yesterday, um, a couple of days ago, actually, I woke up feeling a bit coldy, feeling a bit ill. And on the way to work, I started to get these feelings arising. I'm quite tired, I want to go to sleep, and I wish... I'm going to need more energy. I'm going to need more energy for, to get through the day. But I just relaxed and accepted and reminded myself, no, this is how it is, just chill, just chill. And I got to do my work, which is tutoring and teaching. And every moment during the day for the first half of the day at every moment I just didn't need any more energy I was just really relaxed the children were very calm and it was just fine and then later I went and sat in before my next tutoring um, in the level in Brighton and just really relaxed and accepted that this is how it was and enjoyed that relaxation. Shut my eyes, listened to the sounds. And suddenly, out of nowhere, it's... Where did it come from? Above? Below? I don't know. It just arose, this amazing beam of energy and light. And I got up, my illness vanished. 
and I had half an hour to kill before I uh, had my tutoring to do and I just felt the urge and I was drawn magnetically, intuitively to this new exhibition, this Jan Svankmeyer, I think you say, exhibition. He did a film, Alice and Little Lottic, and it was great, it was wonderful. And I just felt really like I, the magic had come back into life. And I was, and then I went off and did my tuition, and I was full of energy. It was like I was a different person. It couldn't have been the same day. But it was just because I accepted my emotions and accepted the state I was in, rather than try to judge myself for having an inappropriate emotion. And the similar things happen if you're feeling nervous about something, if you've got a job interview or, or any situation that you're feeling a bit edgy about. Use that edginess, allow it in. It's giving you, it's giving you momentum, it's giving you, it's giving you presence, it's giving you energy. Judy Dench, I think, says that she still feels nervous and she's a, a grand old dame actress, she's been an actress for a long time, but it, I understand it's to, if you still feel nervous before you go on stage then you can use those nerves to make an amazing performance and it's the same in life. I was having a conversation with my mum the other day about law of attraction and she, she, she agrees with a lot of what I say, but then when she hears about the law of attraction she, it, it doesn't make any sense to her. It, um, it sounds wrong, it sounds off, and I can understand that, there's a lot of mental constructs about that that just don't make sense, when you try and think, well, how can this, how can all those people in the world have been attracting that, and that sort of thing. Now, why I'm mentioning the Law of Attraction now is because I think the tendency with the Law of Attraction is to, if you're trying to practice it, which you can't really practice because it's happening anyway. But you, you, you're, you're trying to think happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, when what's happening underneath is there might be negative thoughts bubbling under that you're trying to suppress. So what that means is you've got resistance and you're putting happiness on top of the resistance and it doesn't work because actually we're not trying anything. We can't grab happiness. It's a natural flowing that occurs when we stop resistance. So at any moment, at any moment that we notice that we're not feeling the emotion of happiness or joy, that's the time to accept whatever it is and start to enjoy whatever it is because then the resistance is gone and then it's allowed to change and move through as all emotions do if we don't hold on to them. So just allow, welcome, use creatively whatever state is occurring, but don't resist it. Don't resist any moment of this existence, because when you resist, you suffer.